All right, this one's fun. Did not expect to be having this discussion. Uh, a local guy, uh, a guy that is a very polarizing guy for for many uh, reasons, and also a guy that might be popular already when it comes to the Houston Texans. This installment of sign and decline leads to the question. I'm Landry Locker, Locker Room. That's Cody Stutes, uh, Houston Football, uh, and the Cody Stutes YouTube channel. Uh, should the Texans sign Xavier Howard, which they are going to have the opportunity to do. An unexpected one indeed. I mean, this is a guy that is a multi-time all-pro, four-time pro bowler, finished third for defensive player of the year voting a few years ago, and he's a free agent now. And when guys like this end up as a free agent, Money is not always their top priority. There's a lot of opportunity that they like. They want to play usually. They usually want to play for a team that's pretty good. Sometimes guys choose close to home. And really, they like to stick it to people and prove that they can still get it done. And my goodness, a talent like Xavier Howard popping up. There are a ton of teams in the NFL that should be thinking about him. And one of them that's at the top of the list is the Houston Texans. Yeah, and this is interesting because, you know, some people will say, well, he's cooked um, and, you know, his best football is behind him and uh, all that type of stuff. There's some interesting, like, bringing up of, like, off-season, uh, off-field issues. We'll, we'll get into that a little bit. I'm, I'm more so entertained by uh, his off-field issues than than anything else. Uh, a girl accused him of giving her herpes or something like that. Like, and he had, like, a couple of other things. Um but I, I don't think there's like off field issues. But I mean, when you are close to home, you just gonna um, gloss right over that one. Just so I know. mean, that's 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 what it was. Um, but I mean, let, um, let 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 ye who have not you know cast the first stone, right? Yeah, but but I mean, uh, I I don't uh, I'm not opposed to Xavier Howard. You're asking him to be your number two corner. Basically, what you're asking him to be is better than Steven Nelson. That's that's what you're asking him to be. Now, Steven Nelson is coming off a better year. Uh, Steven Nelson played excellent last year, but the guy's already gotten paid. He's from here. That's what you're asking him to do. Uh, Laramie Tunsil has already made it clear how he feels. Uh, Laramie Tunsil uh, said, Howard times Stingley smoke. Uh, so Laramie Tunsil is is making no no bones about it. He he is a fan of the idea of bringing in Xavier uh, and Howard. DJ Bianime said that uh, Howard would be open to playing in Houston. Laramie Tunsil actually liked that tweet. So Laramie appears to be down for it. Um, I'm down for it. Like if you were if you were bringing him in to be your top corner, then we could start talking about it. But if you're talking about Derek Stingley being in his prime and one of the best young corners in the league and having Howard opposite of him, I I'm down with that. I mean, it's it it's a it's a match that really fits too. And you think about not just the extra stuff for Howard, you know, being home, coming back to Houston, but a veteran paired with the young player, a guy looking to bounce back after some rough years. I mean, that is literally what Steven Nelson was when he ended up on the Texans. And Xavier Howard's got that opportunity with a much better track record behind him. I understand that last year was a disappointment for some people and it wasn't as good. I mean, we are two years removed from him being a pro bowler and his third straight pro bowl in a row. And again, we've talked about it before. If you're a pro bowler, a cornerback, you usually had a really, really good year. Like uh, wide receivers and running backs and quarterbacks and stuff like that, sometimes they sneak in. But coming off of three straight Pro Bowl years, including an all-pro in there and almost, uh, you know, or, and getting in the conversation for Defensive Player of the Year, like it feels like a great fit. The only concern would be like, okay, does he not fit the system or they don't like the guy? But I, I, I don't see any of that being a major issue. And sometimes you need to overlook that a little bit to get a talent like Xavier Howard on your squad. Yeah, I, I'm I'm abs I'm absolutely down with this uh, with this whole thing. Um, and, and just to show that I wasn't making stuff up, here's here's the uh, here's the the TMZ article. Um, here's just the headline I'll show you from uh, TMZ right here. Um, this is in the case four, huh? <laughs> this, is in the, this is just a thing. Uh, Xavier Howard, woman sues NFL star. You gave me herpes. So there well, you I go. Mean Good luck proving that in court, you know. Yeah, you can go check that out. That'd be the um, easiest, that'd be the easiest lawsuit of all time, ma'am. 
so yeah, uh, the case for Howard is clear. You're asking him to be a number two corner, um, kind of a veteran guy. Seems like the, the the one of the bit one of the leaders of the squad is uh, down for that. Also, it's not like you're talking about Stephen Nelson being 28 or 27, and Howard like Howard I think is slightly younger. Um, so you have that. I, I think there's a possibility that he has a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. I, I like your angle on that. Well, and here's the thing too: what we're talking about as the case for. Howard is you've got to sell it to him as well because he's going to have more suitors than than just you. Remember, Stephen Nelson was kind of a late to the free agency cycle addition, and then ultimately he ended up playing uh, pretty well. You know, Howard's going to have everybody knocking on the door right away, basically, and talk to him. So you got to sell him a little bit. And while we're all going to appear and watch it as, hey, he's cornerback two, and he is because Derek Stingley's cornerback one. You can sell it as, hey, man, we see you guys as interchangeable. We trust both of you. He's a big-time player. You're a big-time player. Uh, we're going to let you guys go out there and go after the best wide receivers. And you know, late in the year, there was a little bit more, hey, we trust Stingley. Let's leave him out there on an island. You know, They were kind of shading a little bit of extra help to Steven Nelson as he was a little banged up there towards the back end of the year. You can tell – Howard, hey, we're not gonna, we're gonna blitz, we're gonna make your job easier, we're gonna trust you. Like you can sell it to him that he's not two to Derek Stingley, that they're one A and one B, and really kind of play to the ego a little bit there as well. Yeah, he's he's kind of a ball hawk, uh, for sure. Uh, and uh look, motivated, local guy. Um, don't know how you know he fits. Laramie Tunsil seems to think he fits. Um, the case against, is he a declining player? Is he cooked? I mean, that's really the question. Are there some clues there perhaps? Um, but comparing him and Steven Nelson, I, is, I'm, is leaning, there, I'm leaning more Howard than Nelson. Is there a chance that he just didn't like playing for Vic Fangio? I mean, well, nobody there's, did. nobody no, did. There's a lot of players that don't like Vic Fangio. No, no. I mean, there were guys that were, like, really pissed off about it. Like, I mean, and, and Jalen Ramsey even said in his shout-out, Jalen Ramsey said, you know, the best corner in Miami Dolphins history, in my opinion. I think that's kind of crazy when you got Patrick Mercant, uh, Sertan and some of the other guys. But um, he said that, and then he said, in parentheses, can't believe dude didn't maximize both of our skill sets. So yeah, yeah I, I think there was, it, there was clear, there was clear misery. We've seen those reports that people didn't like playing for Vic Fangio. I've yet to find one player that didn't, doesn't like to play for D'Amico Ryans. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I suppose the case against would be, it kind of was a malcontent there in Miami. So you don't want to bring that kind of sour dauber down type guy into the locker room, even though, I don't believe that that would be tolerated within the building with this coaching staff and the way that that locker room is set up and put together. Uh, I suppose durability, just because he's played a lot of football, he got banged up a little bit uh, the past couple of seasons, even though the games played her there, was on the injury report uh, quite a bit. And I suppose if you get into a bidding war and there's a conversation about money, do you, you, know, you know, could you pay him a little bit too much? But we're kind of really sitting here on ifs and the ifs in the negative category aren't as bad as the ifs in the positive category, which is if this guy recaptures something from those previous years, you're talking about a really, really impressive player adding on to a defense that with a couple of impressive additions could be ready to take off and be one of the better units in all of football. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're looking like, and, and if you bring him in, you're still going to have a sa have safety nets. You're still going to bring in guys uh, to add depth. Obviously, the the cornerback room is something they need to figure out. But my verdict on this, <clears throat> I'm down with it. I'm I'm not really, I'm I'm kind of ready to get out of the Stephen Nelson business, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm I'm down with this uh, Xavier Howard thing. Sign me up for it. Bring him home. Um, and make him the make him the new Stephen Nelson. Now, I don't know how I don't know how he's going to handle Houston. Um, I don't know how much he parties or anything like that. There's all people are talking about off field stuff. I've I've, I've seen like, you know, there, there's who knows. But I I, I would be willing to uh, I'd be willing to kick the tires on Xavier and Howard. Look, there's uh, here's something that everybody needs to know. These guys in their twenties as millionaires, early thirties as millionaires, they all party. 
okay? They all party. Not everybody, as, as CJ told us earlier in the season, uh, you know, hey, for my birthday, just kind of hung at home with my family. Not every guy does that for his birthday, okay? Yeah, well. <laughs> a lot of those guys go out and party, and they party uh, multiple nights a week. And you know what? I don't care if they get it done on Sunday, which is a guy like Xavier Howard has got it done on Sunday a lot. I'm thumbs up on this. Uh, I do think there needs to be one caveat to him signing. He's got to start a podcast just like Steven Nelson did. No, please don't. Or if you do, just make it, you know, don't don't chew gum in the mic and all that type of stuff. Um, should the Texans sign Xavier Howard? My answer is yes. We didn't even think this was going to be a possibility, uh, but it is. So expect probably some more cuts too. Keep an eye on uh, that. The combine next week going to be wild news. Cody Stutz is going to be on the scene. Uh, we're going to be giving you signer declines throughout appreciate it students uh our answer is yes what's yours uh this has been the latest installment of sign or decline with landry locker and cody students